Hi, welcome to CPI. Hello, good morning and welcome to CPI. I'll take my mask off, introduce myself. My name is Mr. Heverly, I'm the school counselor here at CPI. And behind me are a few of our staff members. Rick Kara is the head of maintenance, Wade Rick. Officer Dickey is our school resource officer. Marianne Moulders is our vice president of secondary education, or the high school principal as we like to call her. Thank you. Welcome to CPI, everybody. I hope you have a good time on this virtual tour. Uh, please be patient with us. This is the first time we've been through this. But we know we have a lot to show you. Uh, we have 17 programs to show you and 17 awesome teachers to introduce you to. So have a good time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to show you something. We have uh, adult education programs here along with high school students. And in this uh, part of the building right now, they're having some adult nursing courses. So in CPI, as Mrs. Boulder said, you have 17 programs. Um, some of them have adult students and high school students mixed, and some of them have programs where they're both separated. We're going to start down this hallway. I'm going to introduce you to Mrs. Reed, who is our medical science instructor. So come on this way. Hi, welcome. Come on in. Uh, my name is Mrs. Reed, and I'm the medical science instructor here at CPI. Uh, this is my classroom, the academic part of my learning experience here. Um, so what we do here is we do well, all of the academic stuff, but we actually take our learning here to the lab down the hallway where we get to get our hands dirty and uh, apply what we learn in the classroom, um, which is a lot. So anyway, that is where my students are, so why don't we head on that way? Hi there, my name is Mary Soster and I'm a rehab nursing technician and this is the skill area of the medical science program. So over here at Ben Warren, we see two, pa two students. One of the students is acting as a patient and the other student is presenting the proper way to feed the other patient, to feed a patient in bed. Over here at bed two, we have a patient taking the vital signs of the Sims mannequin. And the Sims mannequin is a sort of lifelike mannequin that we can take the blood pressure, pulse, hear the respirations, and hear the bowel movements on. And over here at the last bed, we see two more students. This one is taking a blood pressure, and this one has a blood pressure cup on. She's, pro she's showing the proper way to take a blood pressure and get an accurate reading. And then over here we have Paige. Hi, I'm Paige. Um, I want to talk about some of the academics that we do here. We go through all the uh, different uh, systems. My favorite is the cardiovascular system. We learn about how it's structured and how the blood goes through it and throughout the body. And we also learn about pathologies of it. And then, it's a very fast-paced class, so you need to work, you need to come here with a hard work ethic. Um, it's not all serious, though. We always have um, some type of game to play or crossword puzzles to make it easier. Hi, my name's Maddie, and I'm going to tell you what you can gain from joining this class. This class gives you a really great insight into the medical science field. This field is so vast, so we don't touch base on everything, but we try, and I think we do a really good job at it. When joining this class, you have the opportunity to gain many certifications, such as your temporary CNA or your OSHA 10-hour general safety course certification. And next week, we begin on CPR. Also, with joining this class, you get the opportunity to join to gain college credits from Penn College with their medical terminology course. Okay, we're going to actually see three different programs down at this end of the hallway. We're going to start with early childhood on the right-hand side, which is the first classroom. After that, we're gonna hit dental assisting and then across the hall is information technology. So I'm gonna introduce you to Mrs. Gerhardt, who's the early childhood education instructor. Mrs. Gerhardt. Hi, welcome to early childhood education. I'm Mrs. Gerhardt and this is my classroom. In this classroom, we can focus on many of the aspects of working with children, whether it's learning about their health and safety, learning about interaction, job opportunities, anything to work with children. So whether you want to be an elementary teacher, daycare worker, elementary ed education teacher, special education teacher, social worker, whatever it is, you can learn it in this classroom. We'll go over to the preschool classroom on your hands-on days, and through that door is where the magic happens, where you can change the life of a child. 
So this is our preschool classroom. Come on over. The preschoolers come four times a week from different areas. And when you're in our classroom, you get to be over here with the preschoolers two to three times a week doing your hands-on skills and interacting with the preschoolers. When they arrive, they eat breakfast and my students get to help eat breakfast with them, clean up with them, and then they transition into centers. And our first center they do is circle time. This is Maya from Bald Eagle and she's going to introduce all of our centers to you. Okay, so our first center is circle time. And this is Kylie from Belfont and she's gonna explain some things that we do in circle time. So one thing we do is we read. Um, this book is called If You Give a Massive Cookie. We also sing and help the kids get ready for their day. Okay. Our next center is art. Hi, my name is Maddie. I'm from Belfont. These are some things that we do. We just do some painting over here. Hi, I'm Samantha from Bald Eagle, and we also do watercolors and various forms of crafts that don't include paint. Okay. And then our next center is over here. Hi, my name is Haley. I'm from Belfont. In this center, we read with the ch children, and this is where they take a break if they need to. Our next center is math. Hi, I'm Emma from Bald Eagle, and this is where we sort colors and match shapes and count. Our next center is Table Toys, and this is Kira, she's from Bald Eagle. And here at Table Toys, the children often play with Play-Doh. Um, they string beads on shoelaces, which is a fine motor skill. And our next center is Science, and this is Lizzie, she's, a, she's from Belfont. Um, in science, they find out new things like how to use a microscope and learn all about magnets and their environment. Okay. And then our other center is dramatic play. And in dramatic play, children can be seen playing with baby dolls and the food, and they can dress up however they like with the costumes that we have. And then our final center is right here back at circle time, but it's transitioned into a new center where we play with bigger toys such as the racetrack, and blocks. Okay, so next we're going to go to dental assisting and I'm going to introduce you to the instructor, Mrs. Tobias. Hi, welcome to dental assisting. I am Mindy Tobias, the instructor. Here in the dental assisting program, we have high school and adult students. Um, while they are here, they do gain a lot of experience in the clinic, which is located around the back side of the room, as well as in our mobile unit, um, which they get real live experience working on patients. The students also um, get the theory side so that they're able to go on to post-secondary or directly into employment. Today I'm going to have the kids talk to you about what we do here in the room. My name is Megan King. I'm a senior at Bald Eagle and I'm going to show you how we do impressions. So one of the biggest things we do in dental is take impressions almost every day and then we use them to make bleaching trays, mouth guards, and dentures. I'm Matea Mortar. I'm a senior at Belfont. We take our radiology and infection control certifications in Harrisburg after we take our certification in the course. And x-rays show the root right below the gum line. My name's Morgan, I'm a senior at Times Valley. Have you ever wanted to be a dentist and don't really think it's your fit, then you come to CPI and be a dental assistant where we pass instruments to the dentist to make their job easier. My name's Cheyenne Wolf, I'm a Times Valley senior. We get five certifications from dental, radiology, infection control, OSHA, mandated reporter, and BLS, CPR. We also get Penn College Now credits that can transfer to any college. Rebecca here is using her Penn College Now credits to do the hygiene program at Penn College, but they can still transfer to any college. Okay, so we're on our last program just into the hallway. We're gonna skip over to information technology and introduce you to Mr. Caparello. Mr. Caparello? Everybody. Hello, uh, I'm Mr. Caparello. I'm the information technology instructor here at the school. Affectionately, we call our class Cisco because we see the sign up on the wall over there. We're a Cisco certified academy, which technically is a worldwide college level academy. What we teach here is actually college level curriculum. And on the wall here, we also have a sign that says we are a CompTIA academy also. CompTIA has some of the major certification exams that our students take, like the CompTIA A+, Net+, things like that. So between our Cisco certifications and our CompTIA certifications, we are well on our way to college prepping our students. They are extremely well ready for college because they've already taken a lot of those courses and they're advanced. So normally our classroom has three distinct areas. Our lecture area here, 
our classroom area with our computers and usually a very well-maintained work area in the front, but because of COVID spacing, we've eaten up some of our classroom. You'll see that we had to push some students into our work area, but we still get a lot of hands on here in our class. And uh, I'm going to give you over here to Zach Grant, and he's going to take you around the room and show you what this class is all about. Hi, my name is Zach Grant. I go to Bald Eagle, and this is my third year here at CPI. Over here, we have two students who are working on diagnosing a problem with a PC. Hey, I'm Matt from the Christian Academy. And I'm Austin from Bald Eagle. So if you follow me, I'll show you the classroom. So every PC here has been made by previous students in the past. These three PCs here along the front row were just made this past year, and they are uh, the top ones in the classroom. This is where we uh, read our curriculum. And probably one of the best parts of this classroom is definitely the chairs. Comfiest chairs in the school, by the way. So over here, we have our routers and switches. And these things cost up to a couple thousands of dollars. And so uh, we use these to get familiar with the devices. And once we get familiar with the devices, we come over here to Packet Tracer where we can learn using it. This is Mason, and he'll show you what to do. Hi, my name is Mason Garbrick. I am from Penns Valley Area School District. This is our program, Packet Tracer. As you can see, everything we do in the physical world, we can do in the virtual world. We have all different kinds of devices that we can use in this field. Speaking of virtual, well, Maurice will talk to you about the virtual reality system. My name is Maurice. I'm a Belfield student. I transferred here from medical science. Whenever I transferred, Mr. Caparol and his students <laughs> built a virtual reality system. When I realized that the virtual reality, reality system was for medical science, I was on board to learn about the programming and the system overall and to go to the medical science classroom and teach them how to use it, how they can use it, why they should use it in the daily classrooms. So as you can see, we not only learn about the IT knowledge, we also apply it in different situations. Okay, the next program we're going to visit is culinary arts. And we're going to go into the kitchen. Uh, the students are actually working in there right now and we're going to visit with Chef Beckenbaugh, who's the instructor for culinary arts. On in. Chef! Hi, I'm Chef Beckenball. Welcome to CPI. I'm the chef instructor here at CPI. And we cook food. I'm a senior at Bellefonte Area High School and I came to CPI and tried out multiple programs but they weren't a match for me. I came to Culinary Arts and it was a perfect match for me. We're going to go through these double doors. I like to call this the metal wing because anything to do with metal happens on this end of the building. So we're going to go through these doors and we're going to start with collision repair. There he is, Mr. Hummel. Hello, my name's Brian Hummel. Welcome to Collision Repair. If you follow me, I'll give you a quick intro. Here is an old Caprice that we were fixing up uh, for a Vietnam veteran. This is one of our school cars. This over here is a 2008 Dodge Ram that we put a complete frame and we're rebuilding the rocker panels. This is a 1929 Model A. 1977 Corvette Resto Mod that we're changing into a 1969. We just got parts for that BMW Z3. Um, got them over the weekend. We were doing that. This is Mr. Hummel's car. We're gonna pinstripe it. We have our paint booth, our paint room, our frame machine, our work area, tool room, our classroom. We do estimating, we do paint formulas, we mix our own paint. Um, looking forward to seeing you in our program at CPI. Thank you.
Okay, right across the hall is Precision Machine Technology, and I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Klein. There he is. Hello. Welcome to Precision Machine. I am Mike Klein. I am the instructor here, and let me introduce you to the different things that we do here. We, we here teach to take raw steel as such and turn it into finished parts. One of the first things we always learn to do here in Precision Machine is we have to learn how internal features start and they start by drilling. So let's go see Braden and see how drilling works. see chips coming out. Thank you, Brady. Morning, Jordan. When Jordan is surface grinding, Jordan does grinding to improve the surface finish of metal and also to get the surfaces flat. We're going to move to Tucker. Tucker, what kind of material is that? I don't know. I guess you. And by taking the cuts, we smooth up the surface of just raw steel. And you can see the difference in the surface finish as he keeps taking cuts. One of the most important things we have to do is we have to make sure parts are correct. So Tucker, please show them how to set, you set the pipe gauge with the gauge block and check the part. See the zero. And the part zeroes out also. So we know we're, we are right. All right, we're going to go to Auto Technology next. I'm going to introduce you to the instructor. His name is Mr. Sight. Mr. Sight. There he is. Hi, welcome to Automotive Technology. My name is Mr. Sight. I'm the Automotive Technology Instructor here at CPI. Um, we focus on a lot of different things from clear everyday basics of service uh, on up to the high tech uh, check engine light, service engine suit, and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the certifications you can get by attending CPI are your PA state safety inspection, your emissions inspection, ASC certifications, uh, the ASC 609 AC certification, uh, along with many others. Um, again, there's a lot of things that you can do here, but I'm not going to tell you about that. I'll let you, my students, uh, talk to you about those things. My name is Colin Winnett. I'm from Belfont, and this is AutoTech. guys are working on a restroom mod on a customer's car and they're trying to redo the part or the bracket to put the bumper back on. Now these guys, they're trying to figure out a way to make a cold air intake that isn't sucking in hot air. And that's just kind of a problem on their car. Now we have some guys practicing welding and their welding skills. Because that's just one of the things that we kind of need to do in here sometimes. Okay, our next program is welding technology, and I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Finney Frog. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Finney Frog. This is the welding shop. Uh, I'm going to take you through uh, these gentlemen right here building a truck bed. This is Trevor Mock. Trevor, you to pull your up so you can see who are. All right, he's one of my seniors in Belfort. He's going to take you around and show you a little bit about what's going on here. All right, follow me. So right here, we'll call the truck bed. And then, right here, this is our fabrication shop. So we have sheets of metal here. We have shears, iron worker. We run a torch here with bandsaw. So this is where we build a lot of objects, bigger things. You know, pieces of everything you know, in your life has been impacted by welding. It's had to be fabricated along the one way somehow. Come follow me. 
And right here, this is the classroom this is where we do all our theory and there's a lot more education and learning classroom wise, you know, what goes into it more than just out in the shop. Okay, so next we're gonna go through these double doors. I like to call this the construction wing. We have HVAC, uh, horticulture landscaping, and we have carpentry down these hallways. So come through here, we're gonna stop in and see HVAC first. There he is, Mr. Hassinger. I have a guest Hello. for you. My name's Ken Hassinger and I'm the HVAC instructor. Come on in. HVAC um, is a fantastic field right now. I've got um, so many jobs, I can't fill them. I need more people. And we cover a wide range of things. We do industrial, commercial, residential, refrigeration. Um, just, just a very wide range of things to, to work on. I'd like to take you back to our lab now, show you some of the things we're working on and some of my advanced students are actually installing a heat pump. I want you to see what they're doing. Come on. Our morning kids make refrigeration trainers. All of these units here that are frosted up, that's actually cold. Uh, because it's not desirable to have a frost buildup on our refrigeration equipment, we've got to learn how do we get rid of the frost like this. And so I have my students learn about a hot gas bypass defrost. And we take some of the hot gases that we're usually taken out the back to get rid of, and they pipe them so that they come through these lines for defrost. And if you notice, we're starting to already defrost these lines. And it's amazing how quickly this occurs. And this is just the heat that normally we would be sucking away and blowing out off of, off of it. We're bringing it back in and putting it through the line. I love it. Farber is one of my seniors. Farber's from Bald Eagle. We have Penn Valley and Belfont all here. Tell them what you're doing, Farber. Well, it's kind of loud. We're currently grazing the line for a heat pump. So, so we're doing a complete heat pump installation here. Um, both of those units were in an entirely different spot on the lab. We're going to be grazing the refrigerant lines. They have to make the electrical connections here. Everything has to be pressure tested. They have to go through all the steps. There's an awful lot of textbook uh, learning that has to go into this to understand how refrigeration works, to understand all the laws you have to obey in order to do it, um, to understand all the electricity. We do an awful lot of classroom work as well as out in the lab. All right, if you come in here, this is the carpentry program. Um, I'm gonna introduce you to Mr. Crane. Right now, we're in his classroom. To the right, we have a lab area where he has tools and works on cabinetry. And on the other side, which is where we're gonna go, we're gonna meet Mr. Crane, and he's gonna show you some of the things they're working on on this side of the lab. My name is Mr. Crane. I am the carpentry instructor here at CPI. And to give you an idea of what that means by carpentry, it is basically entailing anything that has to do with the construction of a building. Uh, we cover a wide range of everything from the actual blueprints and drawings to framing and building the structure and putting the cabinets in the house. But that's just a little bit about what we do. Uh, you don't have to just take my word for it. Some of the students here are going to give you a tour a little bit better of some of the things that they do here and their experiences here at CPI. Hi, my name is Gavin Kuhn. I'm a junior at Belfont High School. I've been here at CPI in the carpentry program for since freshman year. Uh, some of the things we do here, we'll do some stuff in the classroom, such as blueprints, estimations, mathematical equations. Out here is our woodworking area. Right now Colton's making a barn door. We spend our most time out on the other side of the shop. That's framing and Phil's gonna take you out there and show you. So Hello, my name is Phil Lovchenko. Um, I'm from Belfont Area High School. I'm a sophomore. Uh, I've been in this carpentry program for two years now, and I'll tell you some of the things that we do here. So here's more of like the general area that we do, like where we make our stuff and cut. Here is our organized list of tools. Right here is the big picture. This is where we make uh, all our houses and stuff. This is where we learn and do more of a hands-on. Start from the foundation, go to a floor plan, 
and make walls. And then we don't only do building in here, we also do building outside of school, maybe like other activities and stuff like that. But mostly here, this is where we do most of the big picture building. Okay, our final program in the construction wing is horticulture and landscape. And I'm gonna pass you off to Mr. Ruther, who is right here waiting on you. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Luther. I'm the horticulture and landscaping teacher here at CPI. I'll take this off real quick so you can see my wonderful face. But anyways, a little bit about the horticulture and landscaping program. We work with pavers, we work with walls. The big thing now is the outdoor kitchens, all right? We are set up as an outside class and we have a fully functioning greenhouse here that you're gonna get an opportunity to start to plant material from seed right up through to finish it off. Science, biology, math, we kind of cover it all, you know, but we get our hands dirty, okay? Again, we are an outside class that um, we're, we're in for creating beautiful areas, all right? If you're into architecture, landscape design, that's also covered in here. Soils are covered in here. I'm going to, I'm done talking now, so I'm going to pass you guys off to a couple of my students and show you exactly what this class is all about. All right, guys, if you really want to see what happens here at CPI and the Horticulture Landscaping Program, follow me. I'll take you in. We're going to head into the greenhouse and check out what's going on in there. The greenhouse really, uh, it really starts to function, especially in the spring of the year. Um, though we do do a full crop of poinsettias, but take it away, Mackenzie. Hi, this is a CPI greenhouse. In the greenhouse, we do plants and we learn how to water them correctly and how to plant the plants correct, and we learn about soil. This year, I in Penn College, you get three credits. Next year, when you're a senior, you get three more credits. And when you're completely graduated, you'll get six complete credits for Penn College. Back out here. So this is the greenhouse here, guys. Um, the poinsettias, the uh, annuals and perennials and that type of thing, that all includes for the landscape design. But back out here, I'm gonna take you and show you um, some of the cool things that we ended up doing. Uh, this is Mason Alt. What we end up doing here, guys, is a lot of pavers, walls. Mason Alt, everybody. Uh, we do uh, many pavers here. We do projects of pavers. We, um, do many things here with wall block too. We build walls. We get you ready for making patios for people and things like that. And we go to farm show actually, and we make these big displays where we use what we learned right here and make big displays and compete. Every year we work on HeroScape projects where, as I said, we take what we learned from right here. We go out and into the community and actually do these things for people and use what we learned and make walls and patios and things like that. Okay, so we went from the construction wing, now we're gonna to head to something totally different, which is advertising arts. And I will introduce you to Mrs. Boyd. Mrs. Boyd. Hello, my name is Mrs. Boyd and I'm the Ad Arts instructor at CPI. In the Ad Arts program, we focus on several aspects of the design field, including understand the basic principles and elements of design, as well as focusing on typography and corporate identity, utilizing industry design standards such as Adobe InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. But you don't have to take my word for it. My kids are much better at explaining things than I am. Hi, welcome to Ad Arts. My name is Ian. I'm a senior at Belfont. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm also a senior at Belfont. My name is Alexia. I'm also a senior at Belfont. My name is Emma, and I'm a junior at Belfont. So in this classroom, you don't need to be perfect to art or anything to succeed and do well in this classroom, you will learn through the elements and principles of design on how to create design throughout the course. So like, so like Ian said, a lot, of our, a lot of our time here is spent learning the basic elements and principles of design, which is what you spend a lot of your first year uh, building on and learning about. So at the beginning of the year, you're going to start with technical pens and about halfway through you'll move to computers using an application called Adobe Illustrator to create your images. I have a few projects here. So this is our line project. It was a project in which we used technical pens to kind of really start getting a feel for things. And then we had our positive and negative reversal project in which we created three identical designs and filled them in using different interrelationships to create three different designs. This was our rhythm and movement project in which we had to create a still image that conveyed the feeling of movement to the audience. 
This was our symmetry and asymmetrical balance project. The idea was we would create a symmetrical design, take it apart, put it together asymmetrically, and then make, put them together and make them look balanced. And then this was our color wheel project. And at the end of the year, of your first year, you start learning about color theory. And you do this project called the color wheel in which you just create something that represents that. Going into our second year, we learn more about type, which we call typography. And we do that using Adobe InDesign, uh, where we use and work with page layout using Adobe Creative Cloud. This is our ceiling type project, where we had to work with the type to make it express the words. This is our portrait type project, where we had to use type to create an image. This is our pattern type project, where we just use type to create patterns. And then we started working with page layout. And we did more with page layout, and we got to work on magazines. So for our third year, we get into Photoshop, and this is where we start using Adobe Photoshop. Then we start going into our corporate identity, where we create logos, our stationary package, and then packaging. And then after all these years, we put in all of our work into our portfolios. These will help us get into the like business and then up to colleges. So here's our negative and positive space project. Here's another one. Here are the page layout project we did for cancer prevention, something for Penn State. Here are the magazine project. Here is our type portrait. Another type portrait. Our lig ligature project. Our type pattern. And then here was a photo that was digitally drawn. And then here is another portfolio. So this was the asymmetry and symmetry balance project. This was another color wheel. This was a type portrait. This was a, uh, an album cover. This was a logo and stationary package project. project. This was a vector poster. This was another poster. This was a logo that was created for a state competition that won first place. And this was uh, another movement and rhythm project. And then after we actually, so whenever we actually do our projects, at the end we create a presentation in which uh, we just put all of our process work and everything that we did for the project together in a presentation present it to our peers, and then at the end we all have a critique where we all talk about what we liked, what we didn't like, what needs to be done better, and uh, then we all agree. Okay, now we're going to visit high school cosmetology, which is Mrs. Kitchen, and I'm going to introduce you to her. She's in here somewhere. Mrs. Kitchen. Hi, I'm Mrs. Kitchen. I'm the instructor for cosmetology here at CPI. Um, in cosmetology, we cover lots of aspects of the field including hair cutting and coloring and styling, and then we'll do nails and all kinds of facial stuff, makeup, fun things like that. Um, but why don't we just show you around so you can talk to some of the students. Come on in. And uh, you can just ignore them and keep one coming over here. Go ahead and let the girls talk to you for a couple of minutes. Hi. <laughs> I'm Taylor, and I've been in here for three years. And I really like doing the nails, so right now I'm just designing nails. Got some styling. And up here, we have Riley. Uh, hi, I'm Riley. Um, I've been here for two years, and something cool with CPI is that you can be in skills, which is a competition. It's really cool. Looks like we have some girls studying the skin, which is what we're studying right now. And then some facials. And then Temi. We are lucky that we have access to mannequins while we are practicing and learning our facials since we can't work on each other. Some more styling. And then Jayla is up here and she's utilizing the pivot point software that we have now in case we have to go 
um, virtual. And it's yucky skin stuff you don't want to see just yet. But I'm a Belfont, fourth year, so one of the really cool things that you can do when you come as a freshman is during your senior year, we actually have more than enough hours to go get your license. So I'm actually in the process of that, and I'm gonna have my license before we even graduate from CPI. Okay, as you can see, I'm outside. I have my mask off. I'm sorry that you have to see my face. We are actually gonna head to Heavy Equipment and Diesel, which is in a different program. And as you can see behind me, that is the Heavy Equipment Operation Program. We're gonna walk down and see uh, Mr. Skelly and Diesel technology is Mr. Fike. Okay, so we're down at the Transportation Training Center at CPI. It's another building off of the, the main building. We actually have a AST, it's an associate's degree program for diesel technology. We have high school uh, diesel technology program here. And as I said, this is where we have our heavy equipment operation uh, high school program as well. And we also have an adult program which runs later in the evening for adults. Now we are in the Heavy Equipment Operations Program. I am going to pass you off to Mr. Skelly, who should be around here somewhere. Follow me. And as you can see, this is some of the equipment these guys use. Mr. Skelly. Yes. I have a visitor for you. Hello. My name is Mr. Skelly. I'm the ATO instructor here at CPI. A couple of our uh, programs we deal with basically in the industry is in the construction industry is NCCR that's our main focus here uh, some of the emphasis we deal with is land clearing surveying basic finishing and grading basic operational techniques a couple of our machines that we have here are 943 caterpillar track loader um, some of the students right now are going over free tripping of some of the equipment um, normally this have to, occurs after our theory lesson here. We have a simulator trailer that has four simulators inside it, uh, electronically controlled, four center computers. Um, here we have a 1974 12G grader. It is still operational. One of our students is doing free trip on it. Our newest backhoe is a 580 NWT. This is a wide track vehicle. We have two students pre-tripping it right now. We have three backhoes total right now. We have an older N1 backhoe. That is a four-stick machine, where of course the newer machine is pilot control. Of course, we have three skid steers. We have a Case 430, a Bobcat, and we also have a Takahuchi. And the top of the they're actually practicing load security. That's another, uh, another teaching that we do over here. Normally on a day uh, after our theory lesson, we would actually continue. We would uh, make sure everything's pre-tripped and then we would head outside to do some construction work in the field. Another machine we have here is our uh, Doosan loader. Of course, we do a lot of uh, clearing of snow with this. And of course, most recently we got this big snowstorm. So. On a normal day, we would be out here after their theory lesson in a four, little over four and a half acre field. Um, we practice everything from pipe installation to grading to finishing, um, surveying, um, trenching, bench loading, you know, just odd, everything that de you deal with in the construction industry. All right, our last program is diesel technology. I'm gonna introduce you to Mr. Fike. Actually, he's standing right here waiting on us. Mr. Fike. Hello, I'm John Fike. I'm the Diesel Technology Instructor. Um, there's a few things we do here, um, which is uh, diesel engines, steering suspension, and uh, diesel electronics uh, with the electrical systems in a truck. Uh, but you don't have to take my word for it. Talk to some of my students. Hi, I'm Dylan Boer from uh, Penns Valley, and there's a couple job opportunities with uh, diesel technology. Uh, around the area here, you can go to places like Hall Baker, or any bus garage. Um, the average salary of just like a regular diesel mechanic can be anywhere from forty to seventy thousand dollars. And then you can get even it more in depth and go into like a locomotive, and you can make anywhere from sixty to one hundred thousand dollars for that. Hi, my name is Caleb Bennett. Here at Diesel Technology, there's a lot of um, certification opportunities they provide. Uh, for example, ASC. 
uh, dealerships and uh, state inspections, emissions, and commercial CDLs. My name is Levi Lowe. I'm going to Penn's Valley, and there's many college opportunities you have here. You can go to Penn College, Ohio Tech, um, Ohio Tech, and here you can earn four college credits for free through CPI, and it gets you a lot of discounts off of college. My name is Ryan Homan. Uh, I'm adjusting valve timing and in the diesel program, we learn how to rebuild engines and how engines operate. I'm Dylan with the Penns Valley. I'm doing wheel ends and brakes. You'll learn brakes in your second year here. In the first year, I liked uh, working on engines. Hi, I'm Gage. I'm fixing a battery drill on this HEO's wheel loader using wiring diagrams and schematics. Okay, our next stop is going to be emergency services. We're going to stop in and see Instructor Lighter. Come on in. Hello? Uh, doesn't seem to anybody, be anybody here, so I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, Mr. Heverly, I've been looking for you and Sam. For what? I got a complaint about two guys that have been disturbing some classes. I'm going to have to take your videographer with me. Hi, I'm Julie Jackson. Um, I'm here with Officer Vicki, the school resource officer. Hello. Um, I am a part of CPI, Emergency Services Program. I am Lieutenant, and we're about ready to go check out and see what Instructor Leiter is doing along with the rest of the class. Ready? <laughs> here we go. Let's go. Welcome to Emergency Services. My name's Shanine Leiter and I'm the lead instructor for the program. As you can see, we do a lot of stuff in this program. Everything from law enforcement, as you can tell, firefighting, EMT, military, and 911 dispatching. So at the end of your program, when you're a senior, you get all those certifications to go out and get yourself a job. Come on, follow me. As you can see, we have all kinds of things. You get gear when you're in the program. To be able to use the gear. This is our captain. He just did a hose load and put that down. Follow me, smart. Here's some of our other students learning medical for EMT and going over everything that they need to do to help people. These guys are doing an SCBA. This is what the firefighters use to be able to put on their back and go inside the fires. And I'll go over that and you will wear one of these. Follow me some more. This is another instructor that you'll get to be able to be around throughout your program. This is Instructor Schreffler. He's showing them how to fill those cylinders that they were doing over there so that they have air inside that they'll be able to breathe. And he helps them out. Again, looking up above, we have more students up there that are doing ropes and they're hoisting tools up so that they can get tools in different places. Now, we have one more thing we can show you. As you can see, this is our station, this is our playground, this is where we're at for most of our stuff. These guys are doing law enforcement, the police, and again, Officer Dickey helps us out a whole lot on the law enforcement side. The other instructor helps us out on fire, and I usually main for dispatch, EMS, and fire. So everything that you see here, we end up doing throughout the whole program. I'm glad I got my camera guy back. Sam got apprehended by the police. Sam, are you okay? Good. Okay, I want to thank you for taking this tour with us. Um, I like to tell students that what you see in your home school is what you'll see at CPI. We have kids who uh, struggle in school, we have kids who are really bright, and we have kids, a lot of kids who are uh, just kind of in between. So I don't want you to think because you're going to go to college that you can't come to CPI because that is a myth out there. So you have to work with your guidance counselors and make sure that you uh, are focused and you can manage your time. Uh, at this time, I'm going to pass it off to our president of CPI, Dr. Richard Macon. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Heverly. I want to say uh, thanks to Gary and to our Black Hoof technology team and to our instructors for the great job that they've done putting together this video. 
hopefully we've given you an idea of the many opportunities there are here at CPI to develop those badly needed skills in the world of work or uh, to help you be successful in post-secondary education. I want to make you aware of another opportunity to learn even more about CPI. At the end of this video, you'll see a link, and we're going to have on February 25th from 3.30 to 5.30, I'm sorry, 3.30 to 6.30, a virtual live open house. This will be a chance for you to uh, log in, have interactions with our instructors, and maybe more importantly for you to hear from some of our students. So I want to encourage you to take advantage of that opportunity and uh, again, hope you'll give consideration to enrolling here at CPI. Uh, this is the place to be. This is where the action's at. This is uh, where the opportunities are going to be. So thanks very much. Hope to see you on the 25th.